Hey guys, Tyson here with Kicker Technical Support. What we're going to go over today is wiring our coax speakers in series versus parallel to help work with an amplifier that we may be using in the setup. We get calls in sometimes to where people have their installs set up to where they're saying my amp gets hot, starts shutting down, uh, higher volumes, things like that. What some people don't understand is looking at or taking the time to wire out the setup to know what they're actually working with. What we have is our KS speaker here at a 4 ohm load. That's the nominal impedance. What we're more interested in on the speakers that we're using our coaxes is the DC resistance. You take a digital multimeter, put it to an ohm setting, take your meter, go to your speakers, negative, positive, and this speaker actually meters out to a 3.7. If we take our two coaxes, wire together in parallel, just positive to positive, negative negative, like what it's commonly done, you'll see that the value of this reach down roughly to a 1.8 to a 1.9. If the amplifier's DC resistance at a channel cannot handle this, that's where you'll get a hot amplifier cause things to shut down. Quick and easy fix is for you to unhook your speakers, take the negative of one speaker, connect it to the positive of the other. This is called series wiring. What we'll do now is we can take these leads to our amplifier's channel. Before we do that, we can meter it out to make sure that its value is high enough to work with the amplifier. Take our meter in its ohm setting, positive to positive of the speaker lead, negative to negative of the speaker lead. Its value now is roughly about 7.27 ohms. We can take these leads to our amplifier and we'll cure our amplifier's problem of running hot and or shutting down. Kicker amplifiers now <clears throat> are able to work down to the lower DC resistance value so that you're able to run your speakers in parallel to the channels in one of our amplifiers. Some amplifiers or DC re resistance value per channel is inefficient enough and that's where they can get hot and start shutting down. I hope this helps cure your problems with your system shutting down and or getting hot. Thanks.